This will happen again to our children if I don't speak up. This isn't just rumors of what's going on. I saw it with my own eyes. A former Tri-West High School employee is speaking up about alleged sexual misconduct within the Northwest Hendricks school system and what he says needs to be done to better protect students. David Pyatt spoke exclusively with Call 6 Investigates Kara Kenny and shared surveillance videos that prompted him to contact the authorities. Kara explains why this video is now coming to light. Tri-West teacher and coach Tyler Bruce is charged with child seduction and obstruction of justice in connection with an alleged inappropriate relationship with a then 16-year-old student. This is surveillance video we obtained from a Tri-West attendance secretary, David Pyatt, that he says shows Bruce and the student alone together. We are blurring the student's face because she's a minor, but her parents told us that is their daughter and they want us to show this footage. The attendance secretary says he shared this video with with law enforcement before Bruce was charged. In charging documents filed against Bruce, prosecutors mentioned this video and what Pyatt saw. The district fired Pyatt Tuesday afternoon after we started promoting this story and exclusive video. The school saying Pyatt confiscated confidential student information. David Pyatt has worked in law enforcement for 17 years and up until Tuesday was the attendance secretary at Tri-West High School. When we sat down with him, he was still working there. He previously had access to the school surveillance video system to track students coming in and out of the building. I used my phone to record them. The alleged victim was 16 years old at the time and a teacher's aide to Bruce. On May 2nd, as Bruce enters his office, the 16-year-old is leaving as the cameras are rolling. She returns and the two are now alone in Bruce's office. The lights go off. That's when David Pyatt walks past the office with his daughter. He goes, hey, what's going on? And it was just kind of a nervous, like... Uh, this looks weird. I wouldn't be caught dead in a dark office with a, a student, especially a female. That's Coach Bruce entering the office. A similar incident happened the next day. The student goes into his office. Yeah, see, there the lights go out. What did you think when you saw that? I was just... It was just dumbfounding. We don't know what happened in that room. The cameras don't show that. We do know Bruce is accused of touching the student on several occasions when they were alone together. Court documents outline one incident in May when she was in his office and Bruce slid his hand up her dress and later that night asked why she was wearing underwear and if she had not, he could have gone further. The May 3rd video appears to show the athletic director, Nate Bagley, peek his head into the room. And you'll see when he comes out, he's kind of smiling and laughing. And he goes back in, talks again. Hyatt says this is problematic because court documents show the school became aware of the allegations months prior and Begley knew Bruce was not to be alone with that female student. And the athletic director knows they've been warned that and he's sitting there talking. Pyatt says he didn't initially report what he saw because the staff already seemed to know. But two weeks later, that changed when he had a meeting with Dean of Students Stacy Bagley. She's married to athletic director Nate Bagley. Because she divulged some things in that conversation that, um, that gave me more concern. Pyatt then contacted the Department of Child Services. What did you tell DCS when you called them? I told them that I, be, I suspected that there was an inappropriate relationship between the victim and Tyler Bruce. I believed that the administration was not doing their due diligence in reporting it. Shortly after Pyatt's report, we know DCS and the Hendricks County Sheriff's Office launched investigations. DCS determinations are not public record. Prosecutors criminally charged Bruce in January with child seduction and obstruction of justice. He denies the allegations. Do you think that Tyler Bruce would have been investigated by law enforcement and by the Department of Child Services had you not made that report? Oh, not a chance. Former Tri-West principal Adam Benner was also charged with failing to make a report about the matter. Pyatt says Benner blew him off when confronted about Bruce. He told me, Dave, we've turned over every stone so you can know and rest assured that we found no wrongdoing. And I said, it's actually the opposite. I said, with everything I know that he isn't, it proves you're not doing everything you're supposed to do. 
When the allegations came to light last summer, the school board kept Bruce on paid administrative leave. This despite then superintendent Mike Springer's recommendation to fire Bruce. Springer told us, I am grateful to Dave Pyatt for his commitment to exposing the truth surrounding this situation. Mr. Pyatt's reaction and response to what he saw and heard in May 2019 was the reaction and response that Tri-West administrators should have had, but did not have, and to my knowledge, still have not had. Springer also put Stacy and Nathan Bagley on leave back in July for how they handled the Bruce matter, but the board voted in September to let them return to their positions, despite Springer's recommendation to fire them. Springer resigned amidst conflict with the school board over the Bruce matter. The district now has an interim superintendent. Pyatt says he saved the surveillance video and shared it with law enforcement because he did not trust the district to preserve the footage. When we sat down with Pyatt, he agreed the school might terminate him for sharing the video with us. You know you could get fired for speaking out. If they fire me, they fire me. But it, our ki this will happen again to our children if I don't speak up. The public will know this isn't just rumors of what's going on. I saw it with my own eyes. In charging documents filed against Bruce in January, Hendricks County prosecutors mentioned David Pyatt and this surveillance video. The teen in this video has since left Tri-West. Her family says she was treated poorly when the allegations came to light. We talked to her mom, Stacy Lewis, back in August when they filed a tort claim alleging the school district failed to protect their daughter. The parents in this community, they should be gravely concerned about what's going on right now at the school and, and the changes that haven't been made to stop another Tyler Bruce. The Federal Office for Civil Rights is currently investigating the Northwest Hendricks School Corporation for how it handles sexual harassment allegations. Pyatt says the district also needs to do a full investigation into who knew about Bruce and the now 17-year-old student and didn't report it. What's your biggest fear? That this continues and gets worse and my biggest fear, I have two daughters, in, one's in elementary and one's in primary school. And to me, if we don't change the culture, then it's just gonna, it's gonna happen again. On February 28, Nate and Stacy Bagley were placed on paid administrative leave with the school district in light of a complaint filed by the Indiana Department of Education. IDOE is seeking to suspend their teaching licenses for failing to properly report sexual misconduct allegations involving Bruce. Former Tri-West principal Adam Benner resigned last year, and the state has filed a complaint against his teaching license as well. The Bagleys and Benner have not responded to our repeated requests for comment. Back to you. Kara, thank you. And we asked the school district back in mid-February to speak with us on camera, but they instead provided a statement, quote, we have not viewed the video in question, but believe this video is part of an ongoing criminal case and or contains information subject to student privacy laws. Northwest Hendricks School Corporation has been and will continue to cooperate fully with law enforcement and the Hendricks County prosecutor to assure justice is served in a court of law and not the court of public opinion. End quote. And just hours ago, RTV6 received yet another statement from the school district saying airing the surveillance video exploits a young woman. And we want to be clear, the student's family wanted us to show you the footage and we did blur her identity. Now you can read this whole statement right now on the IndyChannel.com and the RTV6 app. And we also reached out to the Hendricks County prosecutor who legally cannot discuss evidence with us. And Tyler Bruce is now on unpaid suspension and the board is taking steps to fire him. He has denied the allegations and has not responded to our repeated requests for comment. If you have concerns involving your child in school and you are not getting any answers or help, let us know. Email us at workingforyou at rtv6.com.